This time we're going to be creating a skirt piece that repeats, which means that you'll cut the skirt 5 or 12 times and when you sew it together it becomes a skirt. So we'll start from a circle. So I'm going to go up to create skirt under piece, so create piece skirt enter the values in the fields and select OK to create the piece. And I could choose a waist of, what's a good waist size? 25 and a length of, I'm going to choose 30 because I want more room to play with it. Then I'm going to just say, oh, oh before I choose okay I don't have a model so I'm not adding it to that and I want to show the center point the center point is going to be important so if this is a circle there's the center point so we're just going to use this to play with lines and I can go up to create line and I'm going to start by mirroring. Select the lines to mirror. I want to mirror these three then say OK. Choose the line to mirror around. That would be the side seam so I have another side. So what this does is create a skirt that has a total inch of 25 inch waist and it's 30 inches long. So if I go up to verify line length under measure, if I measure that line and this line and that line, my circumference at the bottom just in a quarter is 53 inches. It's 30 inches long and do you remember how I chose 25? So 6 times, no, 4 times 6.24 is going to total 25. So it divides your number into quarters. You don't have to make it this big. All right. So. That was create skirt. If I want to make a larger waist and a slightly shorter skirt, say OK, and there it is. So you can take the time to, oh, and I made two of them by accident. You have to cancel out of it or it will keep making skirts. So you can take the time to measure your waist and see how long you want this skirt and then we'll be creative with it. Or you can just practice with me for a few minutes. So the reason I kept the center point is that I want to make equally distant skirt shapes. So the very simplest form of this skirt I want you to have a minimum of seven gores. It's going to be easier to have eight. So as long as you have seven or more, right now we're set up to have a four gore skirt that will turn into a circle. I want to divide that into at least eight, maybe less. So I could do that by creating a two point line choose the first point for the line, touch, slide, highlight that midpoint, and then I want to find the middle of this line. It's going to be easier to see over here, so I'll do it over here. So instead of choosing the line, I'm, I'm still, I just did touch, slide, I mean I did touch, release, and so it's still elastic -y. I'm going to right click, and this comes up. I'm going to choose midpoint, and then OK. I hate it when I'm doing a 
video and I do that select line to locate the midpoint. I got myself in an endless loop. Okay, two point line. First point for line. Touch in the water. Hold the button down. Hold it down. If you didn't do that, just start over. Slide over to the center point. Release. Then slide over. And you can see, you could go anywhere along this line. If I release now, it's not going to be symmetrical. So, touch, slide, highlight, release, right click, midpoint. Select a line to locate the midpoint. I did that, and I did it right that time, so I found the midpoint of the line. So this is exactly in the center. So I'm going to go up and modify, delete, line and choose the line that I don't want. So the simplest way to do this assignment is to just do eight gores and all you would have to do to get that because this is right now it would be four so doubled it would be eight and so you would take this piece and create piece trace, trace off the lines clockwise in order. Say OK. Say OK again because we don't need and there I have my one gore. I have to give it a name. And I'm going to put in eight gore skirt. And then I'm going to cancel so I don't accidentally get more of them. So I'm going to move this to the side. And in order to finish this piece, I need to fix it so my grain line is straight. And that's a little bright, but it goes away. Okay, so I don't, I could cut this piece on the bias, but that's not our homework assignment. So I'm going to try this again with the two point line. And this time I'm going to right click in the water before I even start and say midpoint. And I'm going to choose the midpoint of that line and it says to choose the midpoint again so I chose that line. And I'm going to say OK. So that has now given me a line exactly in between. And if I wanted to make it a 16 gore I could trace one of those off but that's not what we're doing right now. So that again I'll do it on this one, is create two-point line, right-click in the water, bring up this menu box, and you're going to know that this exists and you're going to want to do it, but sometimes it's hard to remember to right-click in the water and the box appears. So I'm going to choose midpoint, select the line to locate the midpoint, I choose this line, then it says to do it again, so I'm going to choose this line. It found the midpoint for me. So I've got four equally distant pieces, and if I trace one off and cut it eight times, I have a skirt that will give me the waist that I asked for. Okay, so I'm moving that back out of the way. All right, to finish this, and get a C on it, you need to rotate it so that it's on the correct grain. And the easiest way to do that is to create a rectangle. Doesn't matter what size it is, don't have to give it a special name. And then I'm going to do that modify piece set rotate thing again. I'm going to select the match point on the target piece. so so I have to make sure that piece is highlighted and select the two points on that line and the match point is what I want for my grain line and cancel so that it goes to where you originally put it and now you've rotated the piece so it's parallel to the grain. So I'm going to say OK and I can pick that piece up and move it 
And what I want to do to finish it is come up here under Modify Piece and Realign. This time I want to realign the grain. So it says select the piece to realign the grain line. I don't want the piece to move. If I leave it there, the piece will move. So I'm going to choose realign the grain line. So it's telling me to select my grain line. I'm going to touch the grain line and it ends up exactly where it belongs and then I can go in and delete the original line. And now my piece is sitting the way I want it to and I can right have to cancel. I can right click and say piece to menu. So when I bring that down it says Louise 8 gore skirt and that will get you a C on the assignment. But that's the simplified version and you can go back and watch how to realign the grain and the piece. And to do that, you just go into Modify, Set, Rotate and choose two points on the line, your new line that you want to align to it, and it gets realigned. Okay, so I want to add an annotation to it, and it's my you enter and it just spaces down. Repeating skirt gore and it's cut eight. I want quarter inch characters. Say OK. And I'm zooming in right on top of that and there it is. And if I save it, select the piece to save, say OK, then when I bring the one down from the menu, it will also have the label on it. OK. You have to remember to cancel or it just gets annoying. So I could move those off. Now that I've got them separated from this, it will be safe. I can even delete the one that's correct because I have I have my my little row set up to cheat with. And we'll get to that sometime next week. So the real way to do that is modify delete piece just touch all of them. But do you see how I just keep getting that same one? Then I get this one. So I might have to just go ahead and say OK and delete those and then choose the two that are underneath. You'll get better at that.